Yeah, folks, when we came in here with another Medieval Engineers, and uh, this is what we built in survival. And by we, I mean myself and Doit, because Doit spent a lot of time gathering uh, resources for me and stuff. So this is the little attempt at the uh, farmland, which um, goes towards the end. Anywho, so we have one entrance, which is here. And a portcullis, which we spent plenty of time shooting down bits through. So we shall start in here, which is the barracks, as you can see. Um, it was a simple wee thing. Uh, something to practice your sword work on. That is, uh, we'll see, a bed and a wardrobe. And the idea would have been to put more beds in here, but you know. So then you have roof access, well, roof slash wall access, um, and then you have access over the portcullis here and into this little bit here, which again goes right around and whatnot. And then you have this tower, um, which has the uh, you know, the arrow slits, and then the way up here. To the top. So, I'll probably leave the wall for last, or at least more towards the end. We'll go for the, the yard, I suppose. Um, so again, that uh, that bit up here, you had you know, access here to the other side, and then here I just had the, the uh, Excuse me, sorry about that. I just had the loom wheel and the uh, banner adjuster, or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so down here you had the storage for stone storage and log storage up the top with some plank storage there, and still plenty of planks in it. Um, and then and the boxes, storage boxes, as you can see. Um, and then you also had up here, which is broken, but that was to build carts. So you would build your cart, you would attach it to when you went across, so you could elevate it and work underneath it. Um, I think it's just, uh, yeah. No idea what my idea of plan was for that. Construction office, so the uh, the blueprint control block, and some wee bits and pieces. And we have a tar for access up, up to the roof, or to the wall rather, again. You've Doit's house, which I built for Doit. So yeah, it's somewhere to chill. Um, you have no view there. You have you know, exterior wall view. You have the literal wall view. Um, to the library. And stair access. He has a basement. Which is, you know, empty. Um, because he never actually did anything with this. Then you have rooms up here. So, yeah. Oh, wall well, is not built. Um, so yeah, that's that's his house. I was quite pleased with it. I quite like it. Um, he also had. This here, which I was gonna turn into the windmill, never got around to it. You have some fieldy areas, um, planting crops. This was going to be for the uh, stone claim block, I believe, for the claim block. And then you had the blacksmith. So you've, um, I think that's for Brian. I 
your hand leather, some more storage for planks, and the ingots, uh, that's your clay furnace, your normal furnace, your blacksmith thing, stone ores, and your anvil. Oh yeah. Access to um, the mines. It also has access here. No, just by the side. It's more for getting stone and clay. And if a um, couple of wee structures here and there. And then you have the keep, which will come to at the end. So we'll come back to the wall. Um, so this is the barracks down here, as you saw the first thing, first building. So you have a tower to get up and down, which again you probably would have noticed. You know, just at the bottom here. And again, this is like the first 41 episodes or so, or 40 episodes, is building this. Um, you have a wee sort of area here. Um, and you can walk the whole way around the wall. Um, yeah, you can walk the whole way around the wall. Uh, this is a sort of a tar bit. Um, although it, it ends at the cape, so you can't. I can't remember if you can actually run through the keep. But this is another access up, up here. And then this sort of, you know. And then you can walk around Boyd's house this way. Which again, you know, looks like that. And then you have here which has the trebuchet for anyone who happens to be attacking from over there and uh, yeah so that's that's what sort of inspired the trebuchet on the the other build that you know might be able to hit some little poor bastard in a fishing boat over the mountain uh but yeah and uh, <laughs> so that's up there, and then you can come down there in this way. It brings you to this wee bit, and this is where you know that's in the keep. So you have tower access, which brings you to the drawbridge of the keep, and then on the other side. So yeah, you there is a way up. So if you did fall down, um, so this would be a doorway, and then you'd have the dock to get under here, and this brings you to the sweet bit, where people can jump down from the keep and, you know, slaughter people. Uh, then you have... Oh, you do have a tar. Very tall tar. Okay, good luck. Um, so yeah, you've a wee bit of a... I know there's a word for it. And it's just escaping me right now. Um, yeah, th this is just actually your floor access, this one. So you can walk down there, get into... And then this is where that other doorway was. It can be tricky to get in and out of. And yeah, so this continues around the rest of the wall. And then you've also a little access to the wall here. Run the way around. And into this tower. Go up this tower last. Uh, well, the whole way up this tower last. So you have your way down. Is this and access behind the blacksmith, both sides, and yeah, and 
then this is your the rest of the wall. And there's that farmland outside that it started on with that we started at as well. Um and then you've a wee car here and then you've also down below for ground access. Um and this is the way to continue around and this takes you to the front Port Cullis and that's where the banner um, adjustment thing is. So then there you go. So that's the whole way around. So that's the wee tower, you know, you come out there, you come down a floor, you continue across and then into this tower. And then you can go up and into this. And then, you know, the cape. So you would have a drawbridge. So this is all the cape here. Complete the flag. So yeah, if you came in to try and get into the cape, it can be tricky. Having said that, a defensive flaw, I suppose, would be, um, you know, just battering a hole in the side and, uh, you know, using ladders. But yeah, although it, it's not on the ground as such, so I think the ground floor is this block here, but yeah, I'll probably put a thicker wall on the outside if this was proper PvP or whatever. So this is your entrance, so you have a staircase here. And a staircase over in that corner. In this staircase, you have access to ramparts here and the whole way around. Outside the whole way around, most of the way around. And then this was like a little barracks area. So this is, you know access through that other staircase we'll come back to here um so yeah then you've a wee rooftop here the breezer so that's that's there so you can head by any uh catapults firing on or you know their ammo and then further up you have this bit here, and then further up again, because why not? And then you've the these are one these are one of the mods I'll be keeping for the next series, I suppose. Um, but yeah, then you have just your normal windows up there. So we come back down. That's the rooftop and no door. And then down into here. Oh, we'll go right down to the bottom again. So if we go into the other corner, and in this corner, um, you know, there's sawed all there. Just this is in the corner tower, so that's the drawbridge there. Um, you have access to the upper balcony here. Should down to be able to get an in. Um, this is between the door, that's one thing. There's this door. So you have the drawbridge, you have a portcullis, and then you have the door. So you can use the arrow slots here, which is between the door and the portcullis. Is that the port? No, that's portcullis, sorry. So between the portcullis and the Drawbridge. You can shoot down anyone pounding on the door. 
And then you have up here, which is, you know, not very useful. But over here you have, there's the four colors there. There's the drawbridge there. And yeah, so you have the door here. This is a Toby balcony bit, which has a uh, drop down into that corner car. And then a doorway here, which is on the other side of, you know, this is, you know, up there. You should dine upon. And then up another level, you have anyone who happens to fall into the, the moat like thing there. You have access to either fall on top of them or throw things down at them. So then this floor, this is where we came in earlier. With the balcony goes around. We have a large ass room here. And another wee room here. With, uh, you know, that, that's where the drawbridge would land. Just on that bit there. And that's that car we had come down to the drawbridge. And then in here, it's another just a wee circular room. And with a wee, you know, balcony area which loops around and you can see right down. And up another flight of stairs is into the Lord's Chambers. Um, which has the fancy windows with no glass because I don't think I had the glass mod at that point. Um, but yeah, so you get good views all around. Now we corner window. And then views down into the yard so you can see the bastards here coming at you. And over there. And a good view of the roof. Hmm, because why not? And then that's where I have or had my bed. Um, but yeah. Then the roof with the pillars. And yeah. So that is the tour of the fortifications, the keep, the whole structure that was built in survival. And I'm actually really happy with it. M one point, I'm happy with the design. I'm happy with the look. I think it's different. This is the uh, staircase, the star here. Um, that's your stairway up. And then, yeah, that's just a window that you can't access. But yeah, and then that's that's the uh, you know the boardings. So yeah, that that's I, as I said in the previous episode, I will be um, saving this file. Um, but then I will be. I'll deleting, unsubscribing from all the mods and just sign up to some new ones. But yes, that's it from me. That was the showcase of this survival build. Um, like I said, every single resource was farmed, obtained, stored in here at some point. Um, as I mentioned before, Doid was a huge help. He cut down trees, he mined stone from here with me, which is a whole freaking labyrinth. But yeah, and then I also had the bandits, we were um, not very bright. <clears throat> Bear in mind, this also had the day-night cycle with shadows on, or at least I did. Don't know if Lloyd's computer had shadows on. <clears throat> so it's very dark in there, but um, this is the uh, the default road that was with in the game that you could fast travel to. Um, so yeah, again, that's it for me. That's it for this series or season, series season. Until I can find a new game to play, um, there are some options. Arc is another one. 
um because it's it's a survival style game like this but it's got dinosaurs in it um but yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed hit the like button you can subscribe for more and i shall hopefully see you in the next video and if you have suggestions for games like some i've mentioned before were minecraft yeah um although i'm not very set on that one um arc i think is would be a good shite um there are a couple of other ones people have said i can't recall offhand what they were um but yeah peace